Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It has been a busy day around here today. Uh, Kofi is here with a full camera crew because he is working on some content for his vlog. I have been distance learning uh, with the kids and homeschooling with the kids kind of all day. So managing that while we have, you know, this other stuff going on in our lives, very interesting day, but I am finally getting around to creating a video that I wanted to do for a little while now. And now we are in the throes of winter in Southern California. So what does that mean? That means that the temperature range is from about mid fifties to 90 degrees. Like that's what it means to be in the throes of winter in Southern California, but it is officially boot season. So I just wanted to talk about the kinds of boots that you need for fall. I haven't done a fashion video in a while, but you guys know I love fashion. And what's funny is I never really thought of myself as much of a shoe gal, but I probably should think of myself as a shoe gal because I have quite a few different shoes. And even when I was pulling out some of my favorite boots for fall and winter, I realized like, gosh, I have a lot of boots, I have a lot of boots. So hopefully uh, Kofi isn't gonna watch this vlog, but I just wanna share with you guys some of my top picks for winter boots. So the way I decided to do this was to just organize the boots by category. The first kind of boot that every gal needs in her closet, obviously just a standard riding boot. So here's an example of pretty much one of my favorite pairs of riding boots. It is in a beautiful chocolate leather. These are a pair of coach boots. Now, I feel like coach is probably one of the most underrated uh, leather goods brands, especially for shoes. I swear to you guys, I love coach shoes. I love their tennis shoes. Everything is just really well made. Uh, these boots are really well made. I've had them for a few years now, uh, but I just love it. Uh, detail down the side, pretty standard, uh, goes with so much. And I am a super tall girl. I am six feet tall, so I don't always need a really high heel. I don't mind wearing a heel because I don't mind wearing a heel and going full diva on everybody. But, you know, just in terms of practicality on a daily basis, I just really, really love these. Um, like I said, the color is very versatile and you just need, you know, a good riding boot in either a standard black or brown. So this works for me. I have one more really great example of a riding boot here and this is in a really nice light tan color and these are like true like riding boots like they've got this um studded detail which makes you like really signals kind of cowgirl vibes um and these are dati sara it's just an italian uh leather that actually Kofi got for me for my birthday many, many years ago. So these are really well loved, but I just love this because they have this really nice warm lining inside, fur lining. But just another one that um, is kind of in an off color, in a different color, funky color, kind of mix it up and spice it up. I do wear a lot of creams and browns uh, throughout the fall season, so it is nice to have this as part of that color palette. So um, two options for me for writing boots, standard writing boots. All right, so the next category for me is actually a snow boot. We don't get a lot of snow. Well, we don't really get any snow at all in Los Angeles. Um, but as a family, we do tend to take trips to snowy places. We go up to Big Bear, uh, usually in the winter. Sometimes we'll get out to Utah. Uh, sometimes we'll visit my parents in Texas where there's snow. So um, I do like to have a nice snow boot. These are from uh, Timberland and they are just super cute and very utilitarian. And I have had these boots, kind of feels like since the beginning of time, just for such a long time. Um, they are so warm. They're completely uh, fur lined. They just always keep my feet so warm and cozy. I also think that they're just like super cute and fashionable. Um, this color is also very versatile. It also plays in a very neutral way. So I feel like this is something that I can actually style. Uh, and wear in a, you know, kind of a fashion statement kind of way, but it's also just very practical and pragmatic for cold weather when we do encounter cold weather on those rare occasions when we're traveling to cold weather places.
A popular variation on the winter boot is just the Ugg boot, and I have a couple of pairs. This is not actually from Ugg, this is from Tory Burch. They are also very warm. I love wearing these in LA because it's just cold enough, usually, um, that I appreciate the warmth on the lower half of my body, but I'll wear these with like shorts or a skirt or something. The um, fur on this is just very, very, functional in terms of the color because it's got like grays and browns and like hints of darts and lights. So it matches so many different things and uh, it has like a little drawstring, um, this nice little uh, detailing on the ankle. I really, really love these boots. I get a lot of use out of them. I've also had them for many years. All right, here's another favorite pair of Ugg boots. And these are actually from Ugg. And it's funny because you can see there's all kinds of like leaves and things in the, I have not cleaned these yet. I just pulled them out of storage. Um, but I just love these boots so much. They are so fun and so funky. They look great with leggings. They look great with skinny um, jeans or skinny pants. They look great also with skirts. Um, so funny. So the funny story about this is Animals really respond, in particular dogs really respond to these boots a lot. So uh, one of the girls on my soccer team, her dog like tried to have a fight with uh, my boots. <laughs> I thought it was some kind of animal. My own dog has shown a little bit of fear on occasion um, because you know, there's a lot coming at you with these, but they kind of remind me of like a Muppet monster or something. I, I just really love them. Super cute, super fun, super funky and fashionable. Um, I have, you know, a standard pair of black Uggs, a standard pair of gray Uggs, and I think I also have one that has some uh, buffalo plaid. So I really, really do like Ugg boots. They're not necessarily like a fashionista's pick, but they are warm, they are cozy, and I feel like if you pick the right ones, you can style them in a way that's very cute and even chic. So my next category of boot is just a standard high knee boot. Uh, and these are just a lovely uh, black pair from Chanel that have aged very well. Um, and the thing about this is these are kind of your most practical, kind of simple go-to black boot that can be worn with pants or with a skirt. This is a kitten heel. As I mentioned, I'm six feet tall, so my everyday standard high knee black boot that I'm gonna wear because it's cold um, doesn't really need to have a super tall heel. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show these. Everybody should have those pair that are made in a really nice leather that are kind of a, um, just a beautiful go-to boot, and these are my pair. I have another pair of a high up to the knee uh, boot. These are actually from, I wanna say Steve Madden, okay? So I have seen this boot, uh, this snakeskin boot, that's usually white or gray snakeskin. It's super popular. It's been super popular for a couple seasons now. I just need to stop for a minute because I just hear um, someone backing up a utility truck. It's kind of killing my vibe. So let me see if that sound will go away. Just a minute. So they are painting the exterior um, of our townhome units. So that's why we have all of this noise and production out here. But as I was saying, I've got these great boots from Steve Madden that are very um, fun and funky and fashionable. I think it's great to have at least one pair of these high knee boots that also are, you know, kind of more purely fashion, not so much function. Although I do find again, that this is a versatile color that I can wear with like jewel tones uh, through the fall and winter seasons. I even wore these into the spring. I think last year I wore them to an event. If I find a picture, I will toss it in here. Um, but I just like them, especially because like I said, the gray snakeskin ones or the black and white snakeskin ones are so popular. So this is kind of my own take on a current trend right now. I also don't have yet a over the knee boot because I am so tall. My inseam is 36 inches, you guys. So it's hard for me to find, you know, things that are truly long enough for my body. So if anybody out there knows of a really tall over the knee boot. I think somebody has said before that Stuart Weitzman does make kind of really tall over the knee boots. I am shopping for that. So 
put it down below. Let me know if you've come across something. All right, so the next boot that every gal needs in her closet is for sure an ankle boot. Um, so this is just a really nice Italian made Fabianelli, just solid leather black boot. I have a suede ankle boot from Calvin Klein. It's really funny because I actually had my favorite pair of suede ankle boots from Payless. I had gone down to visit my mother-in-law in San Diego and my brother-in-law and we were going out dancing and I had forgotten to pack shoes at all. I didn't have any shoes at all and there was a Payless and so I just stopped in and grabbed these boots, just what I thought would be the most generic, easiest thing. And I loved those boots. They were so comfortable. So I had them for a really long time. So I uh, actually replaced them because they became a staple in my wardrobe, this suede ankle boot uh, with the Calvin Klein boots, which I didn't show. Maybe I should have shown them. Uh, but um, to be honest, the Calvin Klein ones weren't as comfortable. <laughs> weren't as comfortable as the ones from Bayless, so. Um, but in general, everybody needs just that standard black ankle boot. I also have it um, kind of in a, a brown color. I have one that has the toe exposed also uh, in another kind of brown color, but it's just super functional and easy and an easy go-to. I feel like, you know, every LA mom has her standard little ankle boot. All right, more on the functional side, another really important boot is a rain boot. And Again, it doesn't really rain often here, but we have our El Nino years. If you don't know what El Nino is, okay, so I actually did a climate change degree program, so I can nerd out and geek out on at times. Um, every four years, we have you know more significant rainfall that affects us here in Los Angeles and actually all through South America, which is why it's called El Nino. It's usually around December and January, and the season can kind of last really long with just a lot of heavy rains. So, um, it is good to have a rain boot. And again, these are from Coach. These are super functional. I actually got these when we were going on a trip to Puerto Rico and we were expecting a lot of rain as well. Um, but they have just also stood the test of time because like I said, the canvas from Coach is just not a joke, you guys. It's just very functional. I love the color scheme. Again, browns and tans, which are just great color choices. Very versatile for fall. All right, so the noise pollution is so real that I decided to bring you guys over to the window to see what's really going on out here. And you can see that there's somebody who is on a crane actually moving themselves to paint <laughs> the units out here. So that's what's going on. All right, so besides my um, tall brown coach rain boots, I also have this pair from Sam Edelman that I love that is in a really great blue, um, kind of like, of cornflower and cobalt, something like that. Um, but I love this color blue. I have quite a few things. Oh, sorry, these aren't from Sam Edelman. These are from Kate Spade. I lied. Um, I should have known from the little bow detail. That's very Kate Spade. Um, I also have these in black. So I guess those are also from Kate Spade. For some reason, I thought they were Sam Edelman. But very cute and practical and functional as well, but a little bit more funky. And, oh, these are from Sam Edelman, excuse me. So these are another really cute and funky rain boot. Obviously it is a white cowboy ankle boot, but it is kind of in this patent leather. So it's super shiny and fun and funky. I, ha I just really also love these. It's just a really good mix up, you know, especially on a rainy day. Cause I think um, the inclination is to just go like super standard or basic. Like I have another pair um, that I just got on Amazon that are black with white polka dots um, and they match. I have like a, an umbrella that's black with white polka dots and a turtleneck. So I just think it's kind of fun to be expressive even on days when it's rainy. So I like to uh, mix it up with an interesting kind of rain boot or with a pattern that I kind of like go all out on to just make it um, fun and bring some whimsy to a rainy day. All right, so the final category is just a dress boot or a statement boot. And so I have this lovely satin boot that I wanted to show as an example of that. And I wanna say that these are from Charles David. Yes, 
Um, so these are Charles by Charles David. They are lovely. I have worn them to red carpet events before in Los Angeles. They have, you know, a pretty substantial heel for me, but like I said, I don't really mind it. They are actually quite comfortable. I love the shape of these. They are super cute with a short skirt. I think I might have a picture from me at a red carpet event that I will throw in if I can find it. But I think it's just nice to have something that's like really elegant and beautiful um, also in your closet. And uh, finally, as a big statement, I have these really cute boots from Free People. I mean, they're super shiny, fun, um, bold, <laughs> like every word that you can think of that kind of connotes assertive when it comes to fashion. But I, I, you know, I'm a really expressive person too. I think they are really fun and funky. They are kind of so out there that they're neutral again. Like you could just wear this with so many things. You can just wear these with a denim and totally spice it up, or you could wear it with a dress for a really nice evening out. So I do think it's important to have um, another kind of bold pair of boots uh, in your closet besides, you know, just what's standard uh, and run of the mill. Cause it's really fun. And again, when it's so kind of out there, it becomes neutral again. All right, you guys, so I really do wish I could say these are even all of the boots that I actually own, but I have more than this. But I have picked some from each of the categories that I've made up to kind of explain to you what I think uh, really works if you're building out your wardrobe. Um, you know, I kind of love the idea of building out your wardrobe for the long haul. So picking pieces that are going to make sense, that are worth investing in, that you're going to use for many years to come, uh, you get the staples in there, you get at least one thing representing each of the staples and you can kind of build from there and or replace as time goes on. But yeah, I, you know, I guess I do love a shoe as much as I love a handbag if I'm being honest with myself. Um, but I hope you find this video fun and interesting. Something else that I would also say is a boot worth considering is kind of like a motocross or kind of combat boot. I have um, one or two pairs, but not anything that I really feel super confident in. I had a motocross boot that I didn't really love the way that it held up, so I uh, recently let those go. But if you have a good suggestion there, uh, let me know, because I think those are really cute with sweater dresses and everything too during the fall uh, and winter season. So uh, you guys stay warm and stay cute. Thanks for watching.